Hi everybody! This video demonstrates how to use your PayPal integration module with Cake Boss Cloud. After you've purchased your PayPal module, you will notice that on your My Bakery screen you have a new tab called PayPal. Click this tab and for the moment skip the fields up at the top and simply click on Authorize PayPal. You'll see when I click the button, it takes me to my login screen for PayPal and says that I'm logging in to set permissions for my account. If you're already logged into PayPal, it's possible you won't see this screen and you'll be taken directly to the next screen. So I'm going to log in with my normal PayPal credentials. Now that I'm logged in, I'm on a screen where it says Masters Software is asking my permission to manage my invoicing through a third party. This is the authorization that Cake Boss Cloud, which is developed by our company Masters Software, needs in order to manage your invoicing. If you have any questions, you can click these hyperlinks that say What's This and Third Party Permissions. You will also see that you can revoke those permissions at any time in your PayPal profile. So, in order to activate your PayPal module on Cake Boss Cloud, you must click Grant Permissions. So, I'll do that now. So, after I clicked Grant Permissions, it took me back to my Cake Boss Cloud home screen. I'm going to go back to My Bakery and the PayPal tab. At this point, go ahead and fill out your defaults for your PayPal settings and click Save. You may find that the language, currency, and country code are already filled out for you. The PayPal Terms field is for all the terms that you want to display on your PayPal invoices. You may want to copy and paste these from your Cake Boss Cloud terms. Just be sure to click Save when you are finished. So let's go over to an order and see how the PayPal module works in conjunction with Cake Boss Cloud. When you go over to the order, you'll notice that you have a new button called Send PayPal Invoice. This order is for $125. And if I go over to my Payments screen, you'll see that I have two payments scheduled, one for $50 and the final payment for $75. You'll also see a new button on this screen called Update PayPal Invoices, which we'll get to a little bit later. When you send a PayPal invoice, the invoice is sent for the amount due of your next scheduled unpaid payment. So, sending an invoice, as this order currently stands, will send an invoice for $50. To send this invoice, click the Send PayPal Invoice button. After you click this button, you will be taken to a confirmation screen. This screen shows you your invoice date, which is your order date, invoice number, your customer's email, the total of the line items on your order, and tax if applicable. You must have an email entered on your customer's information page to be able to send the PayPal invoice by email. The amount changed in brackets is the future amount of the $75 payment, which is the second scheduled payment. Then you will see your delivery charge and the important number, the amount of this invoice, which is $50, and your invoice due date. If for any reason this information is not what you expected, click Cancel to be returned to your order to correct the information. But if everything is okay, then go ahead and click Send PayPal Invoice. This action actually sends your invoice. So I will click Send PayPal Invoice now. A new window opened to take me to PayPal, and since I was already logged in, it took me directly to viewing the invoice, but you may be prompted to log in if you're not logged into PayPal. And now here in my new tab in PayPal, I can see the invoice that was emailed to my customer. You do not need to do anything further. You can see that the invoice number is 12407, the same as my order number. The line item is exactly as it appeared on the Cake Boss Cloud order.
you can see the subtotal of $125 and the fact that there is a future payment scheduled of $75, but right now the amount due is $50. And below that, you can see the terms that you entered on the My Bakery screen on the PayPal tab. No further action is needed from you. The invoice has already been sent by email to your customer, and you will also receive an email copy of this invoice. Since I'm demonstrating this feature on myself, now I'll pretend I'm the customer and go to my email. And here it is. I've received an invoice 12407 from Cake Boss Software. And when I open this email, I see that it is exactly as I viewed it before. The amount due is $50. And I can click the View and Pay Invoice button right from my email to be taken to PayPal to pay the invoice online. Even customers that don't have a PayPal account set up can pay this invoice with their credit card by clicking this link. So now I will switch modes again and I will stop being the customer and I will go back to being the Cake Boss Cloud user. Let's say that I've received an email from PayPal notifying me that the invoice has been paid by my customer. I need to get that information into their order on Cake Boss Cloud. It's really easy. Just go to the Payments tab of the order and click the Update PayPal Invoices button. Cake Boss Cloud will use the permissions you granted back at the beginning of this video to talk to PayPal, ask if any payments have been made, and import those payments into your payment grid. Now it does take you back to the main order page after it's done checking, so we'll click on the Payments tab, and we can see that the payment has now been recorded as having been made with the date it was paid. When you're ready for your customer to pay the $75 balance, just repeat this whole process, click the Send PayPal Invoice again, confirm that the information is correct on the confirmation screen, and click Send PayPal Invoice. When your customer receives this invoice, the balance due will be $75, and the invoice number will be 12407.1. As you can see, PayPal integration with your Cake Boss Cloud account is pretty simple, and it's a great way to streamline your business and get money in your pocket faster with easy customer billing.